it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. I know it has been a few days. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I have not <laughs> felt well. I guess I had the stomach virus. I'm actually still sipping ginger ale. Um, and I am feeling much, much better or I wouldn't be here. But I have missed you all and I have this really cool craft that I want to do with you guys today. I think my camera is crooked though. So let me see if I can fix that. If, hopefully I didn't do too much damage to where it was and you can still see. Good. Okay, so I hope everybody else is doing okay because I did realize once I got the stomach virus that it is going around. A lot of people have it. So if you are one of them, um, I hope that you, it was really probably, I want to say a 24 hour, but it was, it was more than 24 hours. I, I've been down for a good couple of days, totally not myself, um, laying in bed, which is not me. Like the first day I was in and out of bed all day, just, you know, well, the first day was Wednesday and that's when I told you guys I was getting sick. Um, and then I think it was Thursday and Friday because today is Saturday. So yeah. Um, but anyway, onward and upward, I, um, with the Lord's help, am feeling much, much better. So, okay, I haven't even looked at my comments. I am, and this is Saturday at, I don't even know what time of day it is, but it's in the afternoon, and I will be honest with you, I have not felt even well enough to be on my phone um, playing. So I have not even, um, answered comments from Wednesday's craft. So bear with me, please bear with me. I will get to that, um, later after we do this really cool craft that I wanted to do with you Thursday, but, um, didn't feel well enough. So what we what we're going to need is a piece of scrapbooking paper. And I got this really cool, um, to me, it's almost cowboyish, but it's the, the paisley, almost like a bandana, Hobby Lobby. We are going to be using some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope. Um, this is just a piece of it. That's not all you get. I've used some of it, but it's just called Decorative Nautical Rope by Floral Garden. And they do also have it in a white, but this is the, um, uh, this is the jute colored one. Oh, right. And then we're going to be using some Dollar Tree ribbon, some Dollar Tree ribbon, and um, a Dollar Tree heart that I have taken the word love off and cut it in half with my new tool in the shed. Um, and it even, it's a little crooked at the bottom. And I, I like that. So it's a little jagged cut. And it'll be better if I turn it around. You can see it better. But I wanted you to know what the front of that heart looked like from the Dollar Tree. This is the back. And you can see that I drilled some holes in here. Because we're going to mend a broken heart. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay. So we are going to cover it first, though, with our scrapbooking paper. And we are going to use Mod Podge. And I'm actually, as I'm sitting here, I'm trying to decide if I have my tape handy. I'm thinking when we, so if you can see the destruction that the drill made on the back of this, um, what I'm just trying to I'll think out loud in front of you. What I'm thinking is once we have scrapbooking paper on this, when I come up, I'm wondering if it's going to pull it up as we go. So I was thinking of maybe running um, a piece of tape down, but that that's okay. That's really, I'm thinking out loud. So 
We're just going to go with the original plan. We're going to put some Mod Podge on this heart. And then we're going to put our scrapbook paper on it. And I don't even know if I should bother. I might have to piece this just a little bit. Should have fit. Let's flip it over and we'll trace it just to see if it's going to make it a little easier to cut it out. i got to line my, my heart up here, right? Correct, I should say. And it's just barely going to make it. It looks like it is just barely, barely going to make it. So this is a, um, a bigger heart than I thought it was. But it is going to be perfectly fine. So let's get that cut out. And I'm just going to do that. Take one heart away. And that way I can cut one side out. So I'm going to put you on pause. And this might be a little lengthy. So I'm going to put you on pause while I cut that out. Just to save on time. Be right back. Okay, now that we have those cut out, now we can add our Mod Podge. We're going to add it in a thin layer because we're working with, look, I haven't been in the craft book, craft room for a couple of days and I can't even open the Mod Podge. It's glued shut. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we are going to do a thin coat, but I am going to really focus heavily on the areas around my, I want to say buttonholes, around my um, eyelets that we made here, the holes for our laces. So let's get this off of here. We got a glue glob there. We don't need that. Okay, now we need a brush. Let's just get any old brush and like I said I'm gonna go over these lace part where the laces are gonna go right now a little bit heavier um, because I want that this is MDF and so what that basically is is like pressed wood or paper I'm really not sure but you know, it made a mess on the back drilling it. It's like drilling a whole bunch of stacked paper. And so I don't want that to pop up when I am lacing it. That's all. I want that to be nice and smooth. And so we just have one more area to cover. And then we can add our paper. And like I said, a little bit heavier around my buttonholes. They're not buttonholes. <laughs> but we're going to be calling them buttonholes this whole time. I can just tell. All right, so let's make sure we get this on right. Got to put this on right the first time because once we lay it down... It's going to be pretty good. All right. Because I went really thin on the Mod Podge, so I knew I could not pick it up and reposition it. All right. So now go over it with a scraper of some sort. This is the one that I get at the um, Dollar Tree in the cake decorating section. It's like a three pack. Um, now we do have overhang, a little bit of overhang, but we will um, sand that off. So that looks nice. Now I'm just going to take a pencil or something and go through uh, these holes that I put in here for my laces and just try to make my holes again. And it will be a mess on the backing, but that's okay because we are not going to look at the back. We're going to look at the front. And if you want, so 
So some of the Mod Podge is coming through the holes with this, which is good because it kind of glues it down into the hole, which is what I'm actually going for. So I want that smooth so my laces don't pick it up. Um, so now my pencil is all Mod Podge, which is kind of good because now I can get it in here and hold that down. Go from the back a little bit and make sure that that is going to stay down inside there. We'll just help it a little bit from the back. I hope I'm making sense. Um, I think so. I think you guys know. I'm just trying to make sure that my paper stays down in these holes when we come backwards with it, with laces. And if it doesn't, we'll, we'll snip it off. It's okay. But it would be nice if we could fix that problem now before and just head it off, right? So now I'm just using my little pinky finger and just getting the Mod Podge all in and out in the front and in the back. And then a little bit of paper pops up sometimes. So I'm just going to snip that right down. And I'm going to use these little, see here's another piece of where the paper popped up with my pinky. So, hey, if it doesn't want to stay there, it doesn't have to. So there's a look at what we have right now. Isn't that cool? All right, so we might have to give that a little um, blow dry with our power our heat gun. But we're going to move on to our second half here. So sit back and grab yourself a nice cool drink or a nice hot cup of coffee or tea because this is going to be a really cool craft. I am so excited about this craft. You know, when you see it in your um, mind's eye and you just, I was so impatient. I, I'm not a patient sicko anyway. When I'm sick, I am not a patient patient. <laughs> I'm not. I... I don't know what to do with myself when I'm sick. I just go from one room to another and I don't know what to do and I lay down and then I don't really want to lay down and oh, it's I'm just not a patient patient at all. So I was itching to get out and do my crafts with you guys. So here goes, we're gonna put our second piece on and I am a little tiny, tiny tad short on the outside edge. Whoops, sliding that over a little bit. And so I am going to make up for it in the inside. Oh, hold on. I'm a little bit shy on one edge here and I was going to make up for it a little bit on the holes side. You know what I mean? Because we're going to have laces there, so it won't show. So if I, if I had to be short on one side, I wanted to be short on the laces side. You can't even tell. I know it, but you really can't tell. So... There is that. And plus, we're going to go over this with some antique Waverly wax on the edges. And you won't even know. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put pencil holes down through. And where's my hole? There we go. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on my finger and do what I did right away instead of um you know now that we know what works and then i'll just trim off a little bit of these papers that are sticking out so but i don't want to dip my finger in there so i'm gonna just get a little bit on my brush and couldn't pick it up for a second. I'm just going to stick my finger down in, my little pinky finger. And you can put a glove on if you want, but you know, this is all old hat to me. I'll go this way. If anything sticks up, I'll trim it off. 
is something we can trim. And you know, we want this to look like an old bandana. So it might be a little tethered if we really thought about it. But that'll be good. All right, so now it is all on good. We do have to trim off our little overhang in the back, which we will do with a um, sandpaper block. But I'm going to take off a lot of this right here. Isn't it funny that um, the way this heart fit, we had a little, a little bit short on the outside edges, but it a little bit big on the top. <laughs> But no matter how I turned it, it, it didn't exactly work. So we are a little tiny bit short on one side, but you're not even going to see it. I can't even see it. And once we get Waverly Wax on that, you're not even going to know. All right, so I will put you on pause because I hate the sound of sanding for one thing. But I do want to show you, in case you are new here, we always take our sanding block. And this is a Gator sanding. It's in my um, Amazon store, which is always linked below uh, all my videos if you are ever interested. And... Um, <clears throat> What I was saying is you always want to sand when you're sanding with paper away from your paper. You don't want to come back and forth because you'll lift that paper towards you. So I am going to continue getting all this paper. And the reason that we do that if you're new here is because it gives it such a finish. The, the sanding, it gives me the chills. So I make a lot of faces when I am sanding. So a lot of times I like to just take this, t shut you off just for the, um, put you on pause just for the sake of saving time, but also because I make funny faces because it gives me the chills. But we do this to make this fit like a glove. It looks like it is supposed to be there by the time we are finished. So let me sand this and we will be right back. Okay, so I added some antique Waverly wax to this and lost the footage. So I'm just going to show you. I dab it off on a piece of paper towel and then I just go in circular. You can't see what I'm doing. I just go in circular motions around the edges until I like the desired antique-ish look. So um, that's what I did, but I lost the footage to that. So actually I'm not done with that. So that's what we have now. Now it's time to lace this up. So this is what we have, if I can turn it around. Really cute. All right, I know I keep calling these buttonholes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so now we um, are going to use our nautil, nautical, nautical rope. I like this one in the jute color, but you can use either, even the white one. I do want to tell you that when I drilled this, I used a... Are you kidding me? It just went right out of my head. I think I used a three quarters of an inch drill bit. So we're just going to start in the back like we would shoes, like shoelaces, and lace this up and mend our broken heart. All right. We want it to be together, though, so we want it to be pulled a little bit tight. Oops. Get a little bit more on that side versus the other. See how we do here. All right, now we're going to crisscross it. So I'm going to go up and down. And back through that side. So cute. Kind of have to let it, you know, find a good smooshing place for your jute in the back. And then we're going to come across. And I'm going to do both sides at once. You know how I'm going to go up and down with that piece. And then I'm going to come across and I'm going to do the same thing. 
up and down. So that'll give us two little X's. Let me just put this down and make sure we can flatten our little cross, uh, not a cross, our little heart. How cute is that? Look at that. I love it. All right, so now I'm not sure. I guess we'll give it a little tie and we will make a little hanger um, out of this. But I am going to give this a little bit of glue because I can't pull it tight with my fingers. So I'm going to put, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to put a little bit of glue and pull that tight because I don't want this to come apart. So I'm just going to hold that for one minute and then I'm going to come up and make a hanger out of the rest of this. Once I know that is good and snug. And how I'm going to do that is we have uh, two holes here in the back that our original jute was hung with. I'm going to actually glue my rope right up to that hole like this. And it's not showing on the front because we covered it with the uh, scrapbooking paper. But I know that this is where this will hang. Um, it would have hung nicely if that jute was in there. So I am just using that for space. Space? I can't think of the words. I'm sorry. Okay, so now I'm just going to tie that in a knot together. A nice big old knot like you would use in a tack you know, intact, uh, see, I'm so sorry. Please, please understand that um, sometimes with lupus, I can't think of the words. I can picture it in my head, what I'm trying to say, but the words don't always come out right. So now we pulled that away from our holes. I'm just gonna do that back. Um, if you were in a barn, and you were, you know, tackle, no, not tackle, sorry. I'm thinking of saddles and tack. And so if you were in a barn, uh, you would see this rope with a big old knot. And that's what I'm going for. So I'm just going to glue these back down. Maybe I should have added a little more glue, but then I was pulling on it too. People aren't going to be pulling on it, so... Hold that down for a moment. And then I'm going to cut off my taped ends while this is gluing up. I'm going to try to gently, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should just wait long enough for a minute. Can't multitask when you're waiting for hot glue. I, I just, I need to know better, right? All right, so before we cut those off, I got to give you a look. See how cute is a button is that? All right. And before and now we'll flip it over and we won't cut the ends of the tape off for a moment because we're going to make a messy bow for this. Just a little messy bow. We're going to put a little bit of jute, no, not jute, burlap and a little bit of maybe maybe the red and black gingham. I think a little bit of this red and black gingham. All from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut like two pieces of each. And I'm not measuring. I'm eyeballing. So whatever I cut of that, I'm going to double that. Cut that again. And it looks like I'm only going to get another piece out of this one. Oh, no, I might get two more. I might get two more. I thought we were down to the cardboard. We almost are. So the next piece might not be quite long enough. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. We got all four pieces out. Now, I am going to take two at a time, and I'm going to double them and do a, um, oh, I got something in my eye, oh, dust. I'm going to do a dovetail on the ends. I like that look. You don't have to do that. But doubling two at a time, it just kind of gives it a little bit, I mean, it just quickens things up a little, really, right? A little shortcut. And then I'm going to add some of that black and 
um, red gingham because I think it goes so well with our heart. And again, I'm not, I'm just going to use one ribbon to give myself a, a little bit of an eyeball measurement here. And do a few of those. And let's see. Maybe we'll just do, I'm going to do one more of those to kind of tie in the middle. And then um, we don't really have any excess rope, so we don't need to use any excess rope. I think this will be a good, I think this will be a good enough messy bow. So we're going to just take our two pieces of burlap and make an X. And then we'll take two pieces of our red and black gingham and put that with our X. Actually, I'm going to alternate. So I'm going to do um, burlap and gingham and then burlap and gingham and then burlap and gingham. Did I? I must have two pieces here somewhere. All right. I don't have enough. I'll make another piece. And then burlap and ribbon, scissors, scissors, like that. And then I wanted an extra piece to cinch it up, but I like to use a little zip tie just just because if you have sore fingers like I do, it just makes it a lot easier. And then we'll tie up our We'll tie a little piece of extra ribbon around the zip tie and nobody will be the wiser. Except for us. If you hear somebody in the background, um, anytime you ever hear people in the background, oh, excuse me, hiccups. I get the hiccups when I talk a lot. <laughs> well, which is kind of a stupid thing to have when you need to talk a lot, right? You're doing a video. All right, so there is our little messy bow. We're cinching that up, and if you hear somebody, it's my roommate. She is home. It is Saturday, and um, she does live here, so you might hear her coming and going or coughing or living her life because... It's not just me. I'm just not dovetailing these. I'm just putting my ribbon on a slant so that they don't fray. This is the red gingham sides. Should have done that. My fault. Got carried away. Forgot to do that. Did the dovetails okay? All right. So that's our little messy bow, and it's really, really cute. And you can fuss and fluff it as much as you want. I'm going to take this extra piece. I got to cut this um, black end off of here though, the tie wrap here. And I am just going to take this extra piece and wrap it around. And then we'll probably just glue it. We'll tie it and glue it to the back here. That just covers up our little black plastic tie wrap. Makes our bow look so much cuter. And I don't even have to tie that tight because it's really not doing anything but looking pretty. So there's our bow. Get our points all up. And we're just going to glue that right onto the, hmm, where do we want to glue that? We don't want to get rid of our X's. I was going to put that right here. Yeah, I think I still will. I'm just going to put it at the tippity tippity top, though, of our heart right up here because we do want our leases to show up so we're going to just put that as high up as we can sit it and then we will cut the ends off of our nautical rope that we had taped to make it look like shoelaces well actually not to make it look like shoelaces but rather to help me get it through the holes that's the truth all right, so I'm going to cut that on a slant. And be, while I'm holding it, I'm going to just put a tiny bit of glue to hold that together. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Slant it. 
That wasn't a very good cut. While I'm squeezing all that together, we're just going to add a little bit of glue. Tricks of the trade. And there you have it. Is that adorable or what? Minus all the cobwebbies, the glue cobwebbies. <laughs> I always have those, plenty of those. But if you love this as much as I loved making this with you, now is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up. And sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this video with all your friends, family, and social media. If you are on Facebook, share my videos with Facebook. And that way many people get to see them. And then they can choose to come watch my videos or not. It's up to them. But at least they'll have... Um, you know saw that you posted me so that's how that works and make sure you hit that subscribe button that really helps my channel grow and i just thought that this was so cute i hope you love it as much as i loved making it with you and tonight is saturday but uh you probably will be watching this while i'm live on facebook because every saturday night i am live on facebook doing a live craft so um if you're watching this now pause this and hop on over to angel creations facebook and join us we're doing a live craft right now <laughs> so, um, but if you didn't see this until afterwards, the next Saturday, every Saturday at seven on Facebook, okay, is live, but the rest of the time you get me on a video. All right, everybody, until I see you again, I hope that you all be good and do good. Bye now.